Hey everyone, Spicebo7 here for the Gamers Emporium. Today we're going to play some more of The Crew. Today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about a couple of different things. First things that we're going to talk about today is going to be uh, factions. Factions, there, there are five factions. There are wolves, eagles, crocodiles, snakes, and bears. So we got the whole animal kingdom going on, pretty much. Uh, each faction has, I believe, different missions. But it really doesn't matter which one you choose. I usually, you would just usually choose the ones that, you know, your friends are part of and then go from there. So I am in the Eagles. And then uh, each each faction has, uh, well, not each faction, all the factions have a kind of a hierarchy. All ranging all the way from uh, Thug, Gangsta, or I'm sorry, it's uh, Rookie, Thug, Gangsta, and then it goes just up from there. Now, the higher up your uh, tier, I guess I am a gangsta. Eh, not my first pick. But uh, the higher the tier is, the more money you get every time you log into the crew. So we're actually going to do a faction mission. I'm not going to be able to do it all, but that's okay. Let's get it on started. Do solo. Now this one is normally like it's a 2.5 hour long mission. I'm not going to be doing the whole 2.5 hour spiel in this video. I'm going to be talking about a couple other different things. Uh, one thing I definitely wanted to talk about today is kind of a debate I've been having with myself. So I'm definitely thinking about I'm almost 92% certain that I want to purchase this game now. I'm still renting it, just, you know, making sure it's something, you know, I want to be able to get and then continue to play after the fact. But my debate now is, do I go out and buy a hard disk copy or do I just do the digital download? I'm not really sure which one because I've heard good things on both ends. One of the things, and I don't know if this is true, but one of the things is if you have the hard disk drive, or the hard disk, uh, load times are, I believe, oh crap, I believe are uh, a lot faster if you have the actual disk, whereas on the uh, uh, the digital download side is not as fast. But I've heard it go both ways. So I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm not totally sure. Wow, I'm doing terrible. Uh, I'm not sure which one I want to do. But on the other side is if I ever go to, like, if I ever go on a trip and I plan on, you know, bringing my PlayStation or something like that, and I accidentally forget the disc, you know, I'm shit out of luck. You know, I, I just don't have it. So, you know, having it right on the PlayStation, right there, ready to go, obviously the, you know, less hassle to remember to bring a disc. You know, discs can get broken and damaged and such like that. But, you know, I'm, it's just kind of been something I've been sort of kicking around. Alright, well, finally now in first. <sighs> so it's a new year. It's 2015 now. And we still don't have hoverboards. I know that's been a huge thing on the internet these days. Uh, there is, however, um, self-tying shoes that Nike is producing or has produced through... Uh, I think there is a uh, student at a college that brought the idea to the attention of Nike, and they're producing it as we speak. I don't know if that's that's just might be hearsay or not, but I've I've watched a video on it, and the shoes they actually kind of look a little bit ridiculous, to be honest. It looks like you're going to be wearing like snowshoes all the time. But that might be for someone, you know, that might appeal to some people. Me? I'm okay with a pair of just sneakers. What the hell? What was that? Anyway. Um. Let's see. What else is in the news these days? Oh, um, just found out today that uh, Gearbox is going to be releasing... Uh, Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the pre-sequel on uh, PS4 on the 24th of March this year. And I'm having kind of a mini debate with myself whether I can justify 
buying it. It's, they're calling it the Handsome Collection. Ergo, like the Handsome, like Handsome Jack. They're calling it the Handsome Collection. Now, normally, I'd kind of be like, eh, I, I don't know. I'm, you know, I already played Borderlands through and through. Did most of the uh, DLC content. Uh, I never finished. Um, oh, crap. Okay, yeah, we're going to get back on track. I never finished the uh, the one... Well, what's her name? It's like the 12-year-old demolition expert girl. Oh, I can't remember her name. But she came out with like this D&D style... Uh, Uh, what's the word? DLC. And it was actually kind of fun. I never got to complete it, sad face. But that's okay. Uh, but it also comes with not only the two games, shit, but it also comes out with all of the DL, all of the DLC free with it. Which, if you do the math, all of the DLC from, uh, not only Borderlands 2, but also Borderlands the pre-sequel, that's chalking up at least a game and a half money wise if not content wise so it's kind of been something I've been thinking about all day today it was like can I justify already having one game on the PS3 which was Borderlands 2 actually not just PS3 I also had it on uh, PC as well which I did more I did a lot more on PC but my question is can I justify the $60 to buy a game one oh you f fucking asshole that I already a beat the crap out of on ps3 slash pc and c i never really was i don't think i really was gonna buy the pre-sequel anyway because i heard i actually played a little bit of it my roommate he rented the game on his uh 360 we played a little round of a little bit of it split screen um number one it looked kind of it, it it was cool, but it, it just felt like it was another... It, it felt more like a DLC than it felt like a brand new game. Yeah, there's like differences. There's new types of guns, and there's a lack of air system, and they're doing like some sort of like jetpack thing and, you know, air supply and stuff like that, which, you know, that's kind of interesting. Now, you, you know, it's, it's something new. And, you know, there's the four new quote-unquote vault hunters and stuff like that. I'm not going to give anything away. But can I justify spending another $60 to A, get a game I already have, and then B, get a game that I don't know if I was going to buy in the entire in the first place? But the thing is, um, it's one of those things where I have some friends that would da probably definitely buy it, and then we would, you know, be able to play the game together and, like, all over again. Only in what I can only hope to be are true statements about it having a much better, um, you know, much better graphics. And I, I guarantee, and then, you know, all the patches and stuff that go with it. But that does that mean that I'm going to have to wait for all these new patches to come up? Because it's a, you know, a next-gen system. Like, there's going to be glitches. I mean, every game has them. That's why they're called, that's why we have things called patches and hot fixes and updates and stuff like that. And, I don't know, it's just kind of been something I've been thinking about all day today. Other than food. I think about food quite often, actually. I'm always hungry. Curse of having a very high metabolism rate. Or meta metabolic rate? Metabolic rate, I'm almost sure. Metabolism? Having a high metabolic rate? Science. Anyway, <sighs> wow, this is going to be a long run. I'm only on the first checkpoint, and the next one's not for another 15 miles. This game is fucking huge. Ugh. Definitely enjoying it, though. I mean, I, I know I've said this in earlier videos, but I'm not a racing game guy. Never have been. And the only other racing game I ever owned was... Uh, uh, I know I said it in another video. What was it? Uh, Burnout Revenge. And that one, you know, you just you picked your car and you ran and you just bolted through everything. It didn't, uh, 
it didn't matter that you know, no one you know had a better car. Like you could unlock the better cars, sure, and stuff like that, but no one no one had like an upper hand because they had a better turn rate or a better brakes or a better uh, intake system or anything like that. And I've never been a real big fan of the ones that got super technical. It just it wasn't my thing. So that's why I kind of like this game a little bit better than any other racing game that I have because you don't you can you can tweak your car, but it can only go up. I mean, you can't get a worse. You, you can't. Oh well, you can, but you won't really attach it. You you, you can choose to have the better, um, the better car almost every single time. And then in Burnout Revenge, there was like none of that. It was just like here, here's a supply about fifty to seventy some odd awesome. Or no, it was well over a hundred after I remember, if I remember correctly, about over a hundred different cars. They all range from different speeds. Have fun. Go. Play, my friends. And it was just basically that. Really fast cars, really tight corners, and a lot of drifting. And a lot of, like, 90 degree angles that were... got pretty interesting sometimes. And you can take down cars and stuff like that. Oh, shit. How far back is he? I can't even tell. He's not... Oh, crap. I'm gonna lose some distance there. Yeah, I'm like... Wait, what? How did I get all the way in last place? That's... Cool, I guess. Even though I am was pretty sure I was in first. <sighs> oh well. But yeah, just, uh... God, fuck it. That's basically what I've been thinking about for a while. You know, new game coming out, and... Well, not new, not new game, but new, uh... You know, for the new console. It's gonna be for, like, PS4 and Xbox Bone. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just, I guess, I'm just not really a big fan of Xbox 360, but I don't think that justified the Xbox Bone comment, so I apologize for that. Um... I mean, the Xbox... Ugh, man, if I started that debate, I'd, it'd never be over. There's good things and bad things about both consoles, so we're going to leave it at that. <sighs> Am I really in last place? Last time I checked, I was beating everybody, but I don't know, something happened back there with one of those checkpoints, I think. Oh, well. Alright, so recap. Factions. Uh... Choose one, and then the more faction missions you do, the higher your rank goes, the higher your rank goes, the more money you get every time you step into the crew. Um, faction missions are usually pretty long. We're only on the first checkpoint, if that tells you anything. And the next one isn't for another seven miles. Um, Borderlands, or Gearbox coming out with... Holy balls. Coming out with... Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Get back online, get back online, get... What am I doing? Get back online. Uh, Borderlands coming out, or uh, Gearbox coming out with a brand new uh, updated version of Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the pre-sequel, which came out earlier last year. And... That pretty much covers it. Oh my god, a bear! And we have bears! Anyway, that pretty much wraps it up for me at Spice Wolf at the Gamers Emporium. Hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Uh, stay tuned for more videos of Rift, the crew, and very quite possibly in the future, Borderlands 2 slash the pre-sequel. Alright. Well, thanks again for watching, everyone, and hope you have a wonderful day. This is Spiteful7 telling you to go and do something outside. Seriously, it's nice out. <laughs>